Hello friends. Welcome to another new video from the Business Story and Biography channel. In today's video we will learn the success story of American Airlines Group Business. American Airlines is the world's largest airline by fleet size. With over 950 aircraft bearing the American livery, many passengers in the US and around the world will be familiar with their aircraft. Let's step back in time and see how American Airlines came to be. The 1930s. American story really started to unfold by 1936. After a few years of flying, businessman E. L. Corp branded the conglomerate with the name American Airlines. After putting together a team, American Airlines started working to create a new aircraft. The product was the DC-3 which became American's flagship. The first flights operated between New York and Chicago. The DC-3 allowed American Airlines to transport passengers and their baggage. Previously, American Airlines relied on mail transport to make a profit. The DC-3 changed this, and American Airlines was on its way to becoming a major airline. As American Airlines expanded their DC-3 service, they also started looking at improving the passenger experience on the ground. The first Admirals Club came about at this time. American also worked to build up New York's LaGuardia Airport, where another Admirals Club was also developed. Back then, Admirals Clubs were almost as exclusive as it is today, with invitation-only policies for entry. Later, American did begin offering paid access to their Admirals Club too. The 1940s. As World War II raged on, American Airlines had to slow down some of their expansion. However, in the years following the war, American returned to the spotlight and was, for some time, the largest American airline. In 1945, American Airlines established American Overseas Airlines and began to offer transatlantic flights. The 1950s. American Airlines had their eyes set on transcontinental operations. For this, they needed an aircraft that could fly from a city like New York to a city like Los Angeles in under 8 hours. At that time, domestic flights could only be 8 hours or under due to crew time restrictions. American turned to their preferred aircraft manufacturer, Douglas, and the DC-7 was created. The DC-7 was a major success, with American Airlines operating a significant number of this aircraft. The DC-7 was primarily used for non-stop service across the US. In the late 1950s, American Airlines opened the Stewardess College in Dallas, now their largest hub. The Stewardess College was for flight attendant training. It was the first official flight attendant training facility in the world. In 1959, American Airlines began flying the Lockheed Electra. However, soon after starting service with the aircraft, a Flight 320 crashed on approach to New York LaGuardia. 65 out of 73 passengers on board died. The 1960s. As new advancements in technology made jet aircraft a reality, American Airlines started flying the Boeing 707. Jet aircraft were much safer compared to turboprop and propeller aircraft. They also significantly reduced flying time and were a favorite for major airlines. Also in the 1960s, American Airlines introduced the first electronic booking system for passenger reservations. American Airlines made history in 1964 when they hired Dave Harris, the first African American pilot to work for a commercial airline. The 2010s American Airlines officially inaugurated its transatlantic joint venture with British Airways and Iberia Airlines in 2010. In addition, American Airlines strengthened their joint venture with Japan Airlines and inaugurated multiple services to Tokyo Haneda. Expanding from Dallas, American Airlines began flights to Seoul, Shanghai, and Hong Kong. This further solidified Americans' hub status at Dallas where they remained the dominant carrier. In 2011, however, Armour Corporation, the parent company of American Airlines, suffered some financial troubles. They filed for bankruptcy and American Airlines began a cost-cutting campaign to return to profitability. In 2013, it was announced that American Airlines and US Airways would merge, creating the world's largest airline by fleet size. As a result, the American Airlines brand would be retained. American also revealed a new livery and logo. After some negotiations with the Department of Justice and the Department of Transportation, US Airways and American Airlines were officially granted a single operating certificate in 2015. The new CEO of the merged airline was former America West CEO, Doug Parker. US Airways flew its last flight, number 1939, on October 16, 2015. 1939 was symbolic, as that was the year that US Airways was founded. The Future 
As 2020 approaches, American Airlines remains the largest operating airline in the world. AA is one of the big three American carriers, maintaining dominance in several key markets including Dallas, Charlotte, Philadelphia, and Miami. As of now, American Airlines is a strong position to keep flying. With brand new 787 and 777 aircraft, American Airlines is looking to expand their long-haul operations and continues to phase out older aircraft with newer, more efficient aircraft. American will have to work on improving their dismal on-time performance. In the short run, American Airlines will have to focus on maintaining their large and complex fleet. Have you flown American Airlines? Do you like American Airlines? Let us know in the comments below. Ok so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. If you like the video please like, comment, share and subscribe now this official YouTube channel. Bye.